Chapter 4 One then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Hebrews 4 verse 15 For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit. Many events in Jesus' life were done by the power of the Holy Spirit. Luke 4 verse 14 KJV And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. The devil, he is called the slanderer in 1 Timothy 3 verse 11, the false accuser in Titus 2 verse 3, and Satan in Revelation 12 verse 9. 1 Timothy 3 verse 11 KJV Even so must their wives be grave, not slanderers, sober, faithful in all things. Titus 2 verse 3 KJV The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Revelation 12 verse 9 KJV And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Two and, when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. Three and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. For but he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Deuteronomy 8 verse 3 KJV And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Fasted, went without food. 40. The number of testings in the Bible. The tempter, Satan. 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 5 KJV. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. The Son of God, he is the second person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Colossians 2 verse 9 KJV. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. 1 John 5 verse 7 KJV For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. 5 Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. The holy city, Jerusalem. Nehemiah 11 verse 1 KJV And the rulers of the people dwelt at Jerusalem, the rest of the people also cast lots to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem the holy city, and nine parts to dwell in other cities. Six and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 KJV For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. 7 Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 6 verse 16 KJV Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God, as ye tempted him in Massa. 8 Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. 9 And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. An exceeding high mountain, this is possibly the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north mentioned in Isaiah 14 verse 13 KJV, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, in the sides of the north, mountains are types of kingdoms throughout scripture. Jesus taught the Sermon on the Mount, and it was all about the kingdom. Matthew 5-7 and Revelation 17 all the kingdoms of the world, the devil took dominion of this world in the garden. Jesus did not refute the devil's claim to possess these kingdoms. 10 Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Exodus 20 verse 5 KJV 
Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Satan means the adversary. 1 Chronicles 21 verse 1 KJV And Satan stood up against Israel, and provoked David to number Israel. 11 Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. 12 Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. 13 And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast, in the borders of Zabulon and Nephthalim. 14 That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, 15 The land of Zabulon, and the land of Nephthalim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, 16 The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region, and shadow of death light is sprung up. Isaiah 9 verses 1 to 2 KJV, Nevertheless the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, in Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Galilee of the Gentiles, it is the region around the Sea of Galilee. This is a slam on the Jews there, because Galilee belonged to the northern kingdom, and they were called the House of Israel. The south was called the House of Judah. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. This was a reference to the Gentiles being in darkness, spiritually speaking, and seeing Jesus who was light. John 1 verses 4 to 9 KJV. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Jews in the north were seen by those in the south as being in darkness with the Gentiles because they did not come to worship at the temple after the kingdom was divided. Instead, they erected two new places of worship with golden calves in them under Jeroboam the king. The region and shadow of death, this term was used to describe captivity for Israel in pagan lands that were destitute of the truth. Psalm 107 verses 9 to 14 KJV for he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and contemned the counsel of the Most High, therefore he brought down their heart with labor, they fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. The Gospel of the Kingdom Luke 4 verses 14 to 15 17 From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 18 And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. 19 And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. 20 And they straightway left their nets and followed him. 21 And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. 22 And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. 23 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the seventieth week of Daniel ends. At hand, while the kingdom of heaven was at hand, Israel could have repented and accepted Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God, and the kingdom would have been set up. Matthew 16 verse 16 KJV, And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, 
the Son of the living God. All of the disciples which followed Jesus were from the north in the Galilee region, they would have been considered the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Judas, Judah, was the only one from the south. He was a man, ish in Hebrew, from Kerioth, thus the name Iscariot. Isaiah 46 verse 8 KJV Remember this and shew yourselves men, bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Jeremiah 48 verse 41 KJV Kerioth is taken, and the strongholds are surprised, and the mighty men's hearts in Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. The Gospel of the Kingdom, the good news that the Kingdom of Heaven was at hand if Israel would repent. Verse 17 above Healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, no priest in the kingdom could have infirmities in the flesh, so Jesus healed them all. Leviticus 21 verses 17 to 21 KJV Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man, or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. The disciples also confirmed the word they were preaching with signs following. Mark 16 verse 20 KJV And they went forth, and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. 24 And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. The gospel of the kingdom was followed by healing of all that were diseased in Israel because they were to become priests in that soon coming kingdom. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. A priest could not have any infirmities, blemishes, in their flesh. That is why Jesus healed the blind, lame, deaf, dumb, and possessed. Leviticus 21 verses 17 to 21, KJV, speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man, or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. Possessed with devils, the devils took up residence in them because they allowed them in with their wicked practices. Matthew 12 verses 43 to 45 KJV When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. 25 And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee, and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea, and from beyond Jordan. Chapter 5 The Sermon on the Kingdom Luke 6 verses 20 to 49. 1 And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, 2 And he opened his mouth, and taught them, saying, 
Three blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. He went up into a mountain. Mountains are synonymous with kingdoms in the Bible. Daniel 2 and Revelation 17. This sermon is a constitution for the kingdom for the nation of Israel. It is not our marching orders today in the dispensation of grace. The kingdom of heaven, the thousand year reign of Christ on the earth, when that which is done in heaven will be done in earth. Matthew 6 verse 10 KJV. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. For blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Isaiah 61 verse 2 KJV To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. 5 Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Psalm 37 verse 11 KJV But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. 6 Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. 10 Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the 70th week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. 11 Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake. 12 Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. 13 Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out, and to be trodden under foot of men. 14 Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. 15 Neither do men light a candle, and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. 16 Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 17 Think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 18 For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one till shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. 19 Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. 20 For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven, this is talking about entering into the kingdom that lasts 1,000 years on earth, not in heaven. During Israel's program they were under the law, today, we are under grace. Romans 6 verses 14 to 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. When the rapture occurs, the dispensation of grace will end, and Israel will pick back up where they left off 2,000 years ago. 21 Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. Exodus 20 verse 13 KJV, Thou shalt not kill. The judgment, the day we are judged. Hebrews 9 verse 27 And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. 22 But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the counsel, but whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Raka, worthless. The counsel, the Sanhedrin in Israel, made up of 70 elders slash rulers in Israel. 23 Therefore if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee, 
24 leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. 25 Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. 26 Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. 27 Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. 28 But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. 29 And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. Offend, entice to do evil. The eye first entices the heart to lust inwardly, and then it entices the body to commit adultery outwardly. Pluck it out, this was for Israel under the law as the kingdom was at hand literally. We are not to pluck out our eyes today to avoid hell. We are to believe the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. 30 And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. See the previous note in 29 above about the eye that offends. The same applies for this verse on the hand. It was not spoken or written for us to practice today. 31 It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement, 32 But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery, and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. Put away, divorce. Writing of divorcement, Deuteronomy 24 verses 1 to 4. Deuteronomy 24 verses 1 to 4, KJV, When a man hath taken a wife, and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he hath found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement, and give it in her hand, and send her out of his house. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. And if the latter husband hate her, and write her a bill of divorcement, and giveth it in her hand, and sendeth her out of his house, or if the latter husband die, which took her to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after that she is defiled, for that is abomination before the Lord, and thou shalt not cause the land to sin, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. 33 Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. Numbers 30 colon 2, KJV, If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. 34 But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. 35 Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. 36 Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. 37 But let your communication be, yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. 38 Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth, Exodus 21 verse 24, KJV, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. 39 But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. 40 And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. 41 And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. 42 Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee turn not thou away. 43 Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. Leviticus 19 verse 18, KJV, Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, I am the Lord. 44 But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, 
Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you, 45 that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he mocketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. 46 For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? 47 And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? 48 Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Chapter 6 The Sermon on the Mount Kingdom 1 Take heed that ye do not your alms before men, to be seen of them, otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. 2 Therefore when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. 3 But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, for that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Alms, good deeds directed towards the poor. 5 And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. 6 But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. 7 But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. 8 Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. Vain repetitions, repeating the same things over and over again in prayers did not help God to hear their prayers any better. God knows all and hears everything. 9 After this manner therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 10 Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, the time when things would be done on earth as they are being done in heaven already. The 1000 year reign of Christ on earth. 11 Give us this day our daily bread. The day will come again when God has to feed Israel in the wilderness with bread from heaven, manna. They will not be able to buy or sell without taking the mark of the beast. Exodus 16 verse 15, KJV, And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Revelation 12 verse 6, KJV, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. 12 And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Israel, under the law, were to forgive others to be forgiven. We today in the dispensation of grace are to forgive because we have been forgiven already. 13 And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. God will deliver the believing remnant in Israel from the evil one, the Antichrist, in the tribulation period, and they shall enter into their eternal kingdom. Amen. The word Amen is used at the end of a prayer, or a sentence, never at the beginning. It is used as the last word of all four Gospels as well. The word is the same Greek word translated verily in the King James Bible, and it is always used at the beginning of a statement, and never at the end of one. 14 For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 15 But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. If ye forgive, Israel was under the law, which was an if, then covenant. If Israel forgave others, then God would forgive them. We are not Israel under the law. We are the body of Christ under grace. Romans 6 14 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. 
16 moreover when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. 17 But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head, and wash thy face. 18 That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. When ye fast, fasting was going without something for a certain amount of time, usually food, but not exclusively. It is done for many reasons, such as when one is mourning. David fasted for his son. 2 Samuel 12 verse 16 and Matthew 9 verse 15. Paul mentions fasting twice in his early ministry in Acts 14 verse 23 and in 1 Corinthians 7 verse 5. 2 Samuel 12 verse 16, KJV, David therefore besought God for the child, and David fasted, and went in, and lay all night upon the earth. Matthew 9 verse 15, KJV, and Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn, as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. Acts 14 verse 23, KJV, And when they had ordained them elders in every church, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord, on whom they believed. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 5, KJV, Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. 19 Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. 20 But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. 21 For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Lay not up. The little flock was not to lay up for themselves treasures, because they were told to sell all that they had as the kingdom was at hand. Luke 12 verse 33. Paul teaches us today to lay up for our children. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 14. Luke 12 verse 33. KJV, sell that ye have and give alms, Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 14, KJV, Behold, the third time I am ready to come to you, and I will not be burdensome to you, for I seek not yours, but you, for the children ought not to lay up for the parents, but the parents for the children. 22 The light of the body is the eye, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. 23 But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness! The light of the body, if a kingdom saint set their eyes on more than serving God at the time while the kingdom was at hand, he would not be found worthy of the kingdom. Thine eye be single, those who set their eyes on fully following Jesus at that time were full of light, his word, and would help bring many to the light. 24 No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Serve two masters, God alone was to be their master and they were to quit their jobs and sell all that they had and go follow Christ while the kingdom was at hand. 25 Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? 26 Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? 27 Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? 28 And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. 29 And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. 30 Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? 31 Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or, 
what shall we drink? Or, wherewithal shall we be clothed? 32 For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. 33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. 34 Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, they were to seek to enter into their kingdom by obeying Jesus. Take therefore no thought, while the kingdom was at hand believing Israel was to take no thought for material things, because God would take care of them before that time just like he did in the wilderness. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. There was enough evil to deal with in their everyday life, so they didn't need to worry about that which was to come later. The kingdom will be at hand once again during the tribulation period which precedes the kingdom by seven years. Matthew 24 verse 14 The kingdom was originally rejected by Israel's leaders, along with its king, before it was postponed. We are currently living in the dispensation of grace today, which will end with the rapture. These commands were made to believers in Israel while their kingdom was at hand, not to us today under grace. This sermon on the kingdom is not your mail for today. They were also not to worry about their needs in the tribulation period because God would provide for those who followed him. Chapter 7 The Sermon on the Kingdom One judge not, that ye be not judged. Two for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? 4. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? 5. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, that which is holy is the teachings found in God's word. The dogs were the enemies of God. Psalm 22 verse 16 KJV For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. Isaiah 56 verses 10 to 11 KJV, His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand they all look to their own way, everyone for his gain, from his quarter. Neither cast your pearls before the swine, the pearls were truths concerning the kingdom. The swine were the unclean, Leviticus 11 verse 7 KJV. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Matthew 13 verse 46 KJV, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought it. 7 Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you, 8 For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Ask, and it shall be given you, this was a part of the kingdom message given to believers in Israel, not to us in the body of Christ today. 9 Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? 10. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? 11. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? We can ask God for things today, but we are not under Israel's kingdom program. God is operating differently in this dispensation than he was for the three and a half years while the kingdom of heaven was at hand 2,000 years ago. The kingdom will be at hand once again in the tribulation period and they will have these kinds of prayers answered at that time. Matthew 24 verse 14 12 Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. 13 Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, 
that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. 14 Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Straight is the gate, and narrow is the way. Jesus is the way that leadeth unto life. John 10 verses 7 to 9 KJV Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door, by me if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. John 14 verse 6 KJV Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. 15 Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. 16 Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? 17 Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. 18 A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. 19 Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. 20 Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Fruits were synonymous with a person's works. If someone had produced bad fruit and works, they would be denied entrance into Israel's kingdom. Matthew 3 verses 1 to 12 KJV In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees, therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. 21 Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. 22 Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? 23 And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Enter into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is the literal, physical, visible kingdom on the earth that will last a thousand years. Revelation 20 verses 4 to 6 These verses are not speaking to us today. They were spoken to Israel under a previous dispensation. Some who followed Jesus did it half-heartedly, and it is to those whose I was not singly following Christ as their only master that Christ would say, I never knew you. We do not live under that time when the kingdom is at hand today. We are not under a conditional covenant as Israel was. We are under grace. Matthew 24 verse 13 KJV But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Romans 6 verses 14 to 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. 
24 Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. 25 And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. 26 And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. 27 And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. 28 And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. 29 For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Those who did not do what Jesus told them to do were foolish, and they would not enter into eternal life in the kingdom. What did Jesus command? Matthew 19 verse 21 If thou will be perfect, sell that you have, and give to the poor, and ye shall have treasure in heaven. That command is not to us in the dispensation of grace today, but to Israel under the law. The Sermon on the Kingdom in chapters 5-7 to is not for the body of Christ today. <laughs>